Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on Wonder Girl. So, we've got some very sad news that we need to break down in today's video, so this is going to be a double upload. But yeah, we got the official announcement that Wonder Girl isn't moving forward. So, let's go ahead and break it down. So, if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment, and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. So, yeah, very sad news. Officially, Wonder Girl is not going ahead, and this comes from the writer of the show. So she posted on social media, and she said this. So, some sad news for all who were asking. Wonder Girl is not getting picked up at the CW. I was very proud of the script I wrote. I wish I could have shared the world that I created, but unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. Thanks for everyone's enthusiasm. It meant a lot to me. So, this news comes right on the heels of the CW denying Green Arrow and the Canaries a pilot, and it also comes on the heels of the CW accepting the pilot for Naomi, the new CW show which is DC related, but it's the first DC TV show that maybe will be a part of the Arrowverse that isn't under the Greg Berlanti banner, so that's interesting that they picked that up. But we'll get into that in a bit, and we'll get into, you know, the other shows that potentially could get picked up, and I'll give you my full thoughts and opinions on this cancellation. So, if you guys have been reading the comics recently, Wonder Girl was just introduced. Well, actually Wonder Woman, because in Future State, set in the future, you have Yara Floor, who is the character we would have seen on the Wonder Girl TV show, and she takes up the mantle of Wonder Woman. She is the Wonder Woman of the future, currently in DC Comics, and she is one of the best characters, new characters, to come in a very, very long time. And so I was really, really enjoying her, and therefore I got really excited about the Wonder Girl show. I think it's a huge, huge shame that Wonder Girl isn't moving forward. I think this is an even bigger shame than Green Arrow and the Canaries. Like, I was pretty upset that that didn't go forward because I kind of wanted an Arrow spin-off that was still about Arrow and, you know, kind of feel like we're in the Arrow world. But this, I was really excited to finally get something Wonder Woman related, and it's heavily Wonder Woman related, so I don't get the logic why they wouldn't move forward with Wonder Girl, considering I think it would have been very, very popular, and no offense to Naomi, but I think Wonder Girl would have been more popular, mainly because she is literally Wonder Woman in the comics, and people are very interested in that, and Naomi as well is a new character, but without comparing, I'm still really excited for Naomi because I've heard some great stuff about her. I actually plan on reading up because, you know, she was just released last year. That was when she made her comic debut, made by Brian Michael Bendis. And so there is not many issues out with her, but you can totally read them like in a day or so. So I'm looking forward to catching up on that. But I'm just using it as a comparison because it literally got picked up yesterday, like the day before this announcement. So the main reason why the writer and the showrunner announced that Wonder Girl wasn't going ahead is because of that Naomi news, because everyone was questioning, wait, so they just picked up Naomi, but aren't they going to pick up Wonder Girl? Because we were all 100% expecting that Wonder Girl was going to continue development and go to at least a pilot, and if not, continue on to have a series order because it's a big shame because it's Wonder Woman, right? And Wonder Girl, she's getting her new comic in May, DC just announced that, and you would presume that they want to cash in on a Wonder Woman character, so I'm not sure what's going on with the CW, but they have been picking up and ordering a whole bunch of pilots, so they've been getting shows left, right, and center. And obviously not all pilots go ahead because, you know, they order a pilot and then they're like, uh, no, let's not do that. It's commonplace practice, but just considering, you know, the prominence that this show could have had, and I think it would have been very successful for the CW, I have no idea why they are not going ahead with it. And so I really want someone like HBO Max to come in, sweep this up and be like, yes, we want a Wonder Girl show. This would be really good. And... Hopefully they do that, hopefully it gets saved, but as of right now, it doesn't look very promising. But I wanted to talk about some other spin-offs quickly. So at the same time, the CW ordered the pilot for a Black Lightning spin-off. Well, it's going to have a backdoor pilot in this season of Black Lightning, just like Green Arrow and the Canaries did 
in Arrows last season and then you know from then on they would decide would they film the pilot and would it continue onwards and with this announcement that Wonder Girl is not moving forward I would say it's very unlikely because number one Black Lightning isn't the most popular show on the CW and it doesn't give them their best numbers where a show like Wonder Girl would have given them pretty good numbers I mean, I think from the outside you can pretty much say, yeah, for certain, it would have done them pretty damn well, to say the least. And so, the Painkiller spin-off of Black Lightning, I don't know how good it's going to do, and I don't know if they're going to pick it up. And with this announcement, I'm going to say it's pretty unlikely that they're going to pick it up, because they are really stacked up on this, and, you know, there was the recent announcement that the CW and HBO Max, they're going to be teaming up for some summer shows, but that probably isn't going to include the Arrowverse shows because those shows would have to be in development right now. So are they talking about the next year or are they shows that are going to be starting filming very soon? So it's a bit confusing with all announcements and also especially like HBO Max and the films. They are totally saying like the executives are saying we want to cross over stuff. We want it to be like one complete universe and if they had any say in this I would have thought they would have picked up Wonder Girl so I'm just still a bit shocked why they wouldn't go ahead with Wonder Girl because it did seem very very promising and I think it is a big shame and maybe HBO Max would actually fit this better and so hopefully they pick it up and they hopefully save it or was it because they just didn't like the show or are they planning something else on HBO Max to do with Wonder Woman maybe the Amazons is that a possibility? I don't know as of right now, but it's a shame because we got the announcement back in November last year that it was first going into development and at that point you never actually had seen Yara Flores Wonder Girl or Wonder Woman and then by January everyone got really excited because she was one of the best characters in Future State and is still one of the best characters in Future State so I don't know why they didn't go ahead with this but I feel bad for the showrunner Daniel Rodriguez, I'm sorry if I'm saying her name wrong, but she seemed to be really, really excited and she was proud of the script and she wished she could have introduced this world to us and introduced Yara to the live action series. And it also fits into the CW's kind of profile, like what they kind of like. They like to have very diverse shows with diverse superheroes and Yara Flor is literally that. She is a Latina and she's from Brazil and she's an Amazonian warrior who gets her powers from the Amazon. So it's an odd choice, but I guess it's not that unprecedented because they did pass on Green Arrow and the Canaries, and I think right now it's up in the air if Painkiller is going to get picked up. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy the video and if it was informative, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.